Hello and welcome to the Stress Knits podcast. Oh. <laughs> My name is Stacy. Here, Esther. Do you want to come say hi? And this is my pug named Esther. <laughs> Go say hi. Um, we are <laughs> sitting on the floor in my bedroom because the um, <laughs> the sun is a little intense in my office and it looks horrible. So we're in my bedroom. And she has snagged my sweater, but that is okay. <laughs> so I'm Stacy, also known as Stress Knits Yarn on Instagram. And I'm coming to you from a very sunny Metro Detroit, Michigan, where I live with my husband, Doug, our daughter, Eliza, and our pug, Esther. And today is November 3rd, 2020. It's election day, I hope everyone voted. Um, you're going to be seeing this the day after the election, so um, no idea what the vibe in the country is going to be. We'll see. Shh, it's okay. Esther doesn't like when I talk to the camera. Um, yeah. So <sighs> that's how I feel today, and I know everyone's kind of. <laughs> I know everyone's kind of feeling that way right now. Um. You okay, puppy? So, um, I'm getting really distracted by Esther. So, let's see what's going on. So, it's the election. And, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I haven't had an Esther Sounds heavy podcast in a long time. So, you're welcome if you're, in, if you're into that, I guess. Um, <laughs> she's... <laughs> oh my God, Hi, baby. Hi. Do you want to stay right here? Okay. So, <laughs> um, let's see. I have two finished objects and two works in progress and some dream knitting to share. I'm going to try to keep this quick because we need to go. <laughs> We need to go pick up Eliza at my parents' house. Um, Esther. No. Cool. That's okay, puppy. Not your fault. Um, Esther's nail just um, ripped a stitch, so... that doesn't perfectly sum up today. I don't know what does. Anyway, so I guess we'll talk about what I'm wearing now that it's ruined. Um, I don't know how I'm going to fix that. That's a bummer. Like, <laughs> like I don't know how I'm going to fix that. It's okay, puppy. And now she's just gonna bark at me. So, I don't even know this is gonna work. This is the only time I have to record a podcast for a while. So, come here, pup. God, it's been like four minutes of me just complaining about my dog. She's perfect and I love her. She's just got some issues today. All right, so what I'm wearing. <laughs> I am wearing the test knit that I can finally talk about. And that's why this is coming out on the fourth instead of the third because it is finally being released or revealed. So I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce this, but it is the Eras pullover. It is from the new Pom Pom publication about raglan sweaters, raglan pullovers. So this is uh, one of them. This is the stock Annette option and I'm in love with it. So there's really not a whole lot to show because it's just a stockinette sweater, but here it is. So it has a lot of positive ease, um, which I really like. I love a positive ease sweater. It's cozy when it gets really cold here in Michigan, this is going to be perfect. So like my armpit ends all the way up here and there's that much um, positive ease. If I knit this again, I'd probably size down. I think I knit the fifth size, which is a 52 
52 or a 54. So that's about eight to 10 inches of positive ease. So I think I would go down one size and knit something in like the 48 or 50 range. Um, yeah, but I really, really love it. I knit, I don't know if you can tell, but I guess not. Um, I knit it a little bit longer than the pattern called for because it was a little cropped, but I knit it so that it would hit like an inch and a half below my belly button. And so it's the perfect length to wear with jeans where I can tuck in a little bit or wear it to work with dress pants or what have you. So I really love it. There are so many amazing patterns in this book and the whole thing is based off of Woodwardia, which I knit earlier this year in January. And it is my favorite sweater to wear. It has the same deep raglan, but it has these little pearl bumps that decorate the, um, what's it called? <laughs> the, decorate the raglan increases. So they're just little bumps and they kind of look like, like a... I don't know, like a like a flowery kind of motif like a vining flower motif if that makes any sense whatsoever but I'll link that and this sweater in the description box below I love it I used stress knits worsted in the Eloise colorway it is my perfect pink like this is the color of my wall in my bedroom and I mean it's it's close so it's just a very champagne-y pink. It's, if you know my colorways, you know the colorway My Jam. And that was like my first pink tonal colorway. So this is like the grown up version of that colorway. And I just, I love it so much. <laughs> so I only made two modifications. One I already talked about, which is the length. And the second is the fold over neckline. So I really love the way that this pulls in a neckline on me um it's just more comfortable I like the polished look of it and all you have to do is knit the neckline twice as long as you would so I think I knit three three to three and a half inches and then I folded it over and whip stitched it together and I just, I love the way it turned out. I have been wearing this pretty frequently. I've worn it to work a few times. It's one of my favorite sweaters that I've ever made. It's the perfect cozy throw on sweatshirty kind of sweater. So I highly recommend it to everybody. I also recommend it if you have um, never knit a sweater before. It's very straightforward. It's raglan, it's in the round. So you're just knitting and knitting and knitting. And yeah, so that is my first finished object. I'm so glad I can finally tell you about this test knit. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. So there is that. And then the second thing I finished, I don't think I've ever talked about on the podcast, but I participated in the spring 2020 knit collage knit along. Um, I chose to do the sunburst, <laughs> the sunburst pillow, and I knit it for Eliza. So I had Eliza in mind, and I'm thinking her room is going to be a lot of um, dusty pinks and mustard yellows. So I wanted something kind of funky that was kind of in that range, but not quite. And so I went with the main color is... There's Spun Cloud in Dusty Lavender, something like that. And then the stripes are their Wildflower Yarn, which is a cotton tape yarn. And I, it's a sampler kit and it's all of the pinks and purples and reds. So yeah, this one is my favorite. The, I think it's called like Blossom or something like that. That's just really beautiful light pink. Yeah. Anyway, I really love this pillow. I love how it turned out. The other side is just plain. It's also slightly smaller than the front. 
And so you knit the front and the back separately and then you crochet it together with a single crochet stitch, which was really fun. There's a pillow form in here, so I've just been kind of smushing it in place. This will be one of Eliza's um, Christmas presents. So I'm really excited to give this to her. It will be along with her habitation throw that I finished earlier this year. And I just really love it. And I love knit collage yarn. Um, I'm going to talk about it a little later though. So sunburst pillow. The next thing that I'm working on is my half and half triangles wrap by Pearl Soho. I am knitting this with Caddy Jack's knits and it's a part of a knit along that goes until next October, next to Rhinebeck. So this is where I'm at. I can't see what you see. <laughs> um, so I'm getting there on the first section. I still have this many stitches, probably like 150, maybe even 200 that I need to wrap and turn. So it's going to be a long, a long project, but I'm really enjoying the rhythm of it. I love the yarn I'm using Pearl Soho Linen Quill. And this is the pale mushroom colorway. It's just this beautiful beigey brownish gray color. It's really beautiful. So yeah. And then I also am using a Hello Lavender stitch marker. It's their rainbow that Reshma did and I just love it so much. That is my wrap. Here comes Esther to hopefully be nice and not a butt. <laughs> um, yeah, there's that. And then I have one more work in progress that I made a lot, a lot of progress on since you've last seen it. At least I think so. Oh my gosh, can you tell that I like pink? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm knitting the Felix cardigan by... Amy Christopher's, again, not quite sure if it's Christopher's or Christopher's, but I digress. So I finished the body. I finished one sleeve. I finished the neck band and the button bands. So all I have left is this sleeve and I'm just trucking away on it. And this will probably be my stress knitting tonight. Um, and maybe I'll finish it tonight, but for sure by tomorrow or into tomorrow. So that's where I'm at. I love the motif of the Felix. The only thing I don't like about the Felix is the sizing. And I was really on the fence about casting this on. Uh, and I talked about this on the whip down episode that I filmed for my patrons over on Patreon. Um, I was really torn because it only goes up. It doesn't go up very high, especially when you factor in the recommended ease of the sweater. So I think the largest size would be like a 52 or 56 inch bust. <laughs> so um, don't love that, but I had already bought the pattern and I already bought yarn specifically for the Felix or the Felix pullover, the Felix pullover or the Felix cardigan. And so I just kind of went with it. Um, but yeah, if anybody has any recommendations for a DK to worsted weight, um, oversized cardigan that has buttons, I would really like that <laughs> recommendation. Um, I specifically want something that will look really cute with dresses. But like this kind of vibe with more size inclusions that would be really great so that I can see them and anybody looking can see them as well but yes yeah, so um, I do I'm gonna be sewing buttons for the first time on this side and the buttonholes are complete on the other side now I've done buttonholes before because I've knit the grace by Jane Richmond three times two or three times. And I've always made the buttonholes, but I've never sewn on buttons. <laughs> Esther is being a butt. Hey baby. Um, yeah. So we'll see, we'll see how that process goes. I'm curious. 
but I just, I love it. <sighs> um, she's trying to get under the bed. And our bed is really low to the, the ground. There's maybe like six inches of clearance. So I don't know what she's looking for. She'll stop eventually. But um, I'm doing this out of Peace Fleece Worsted in the Palomino colorway. This is what I've left of my fourth skein. And I might have to break in to my fifth. But I really love it. I love this color. Um, I bought this yarn at Rhinebeck in 2019 at the Harrisville Designs booth. I just really love it. It's so beautiful. And I will say it's not the softest yarn in the world, but I have pretty sensitive skin and I don't think it's scratchy. Um, I definitely think I could wear this next to skin, but I will probably wear a long sleeve shirt just for the comfort. Esther, babe, what are you looking at? Her bus is under the bed. So I'm going to speed this up because I'm not going to be able to reach it. It's like dead in the middle. So that is what I'm working on. Um, let's talk really quickly about knit collage because I'm having so much fun. I have a basket of knit collage. Now I love, I, I love this yarn. I love the detail. I love that it's different than what I normally go for. And I love that it's hand spun by women in India, that they're paid a living wage. And it's just, I know there's just something so special about it. So I wanted to share with you, I'm going to be making, Esther, um, I'm going to be making a kaleidoscope <laughs> um, long sleeved. And I'm really excited about it. So I thought I was going to kind of alternate two colors as the main colors. And that's not going to work. <laughs> so I have um, Fog Heather, which I used for my pixelated cardigan that I'm ripping out because I don't like it. Um, oh, Esther. Hey. Um, <laughs> sorry, this is such a mess. Okay, <laughs> so Fog Heather and Minty, which is a new color. So these will kind of be my main, <laughs> my main skeins. And then I'm going to throw in some minis and some of the fun yarns. So I just want to talk about them real quick because Esther is getting restless. <laughs> So I also, I bought a mini skein sampler. So one of those that came in it is the French vanilla. Esther, hey, love. I'll get it in a second, okay? Um, French vanilla, so just a nice creamy color. Um, this is Shooting Star Rolling Stone, just so fun. I love this little hot pink barber pole section. This is Castaway in the oak colorway. Just love it so much. Love it so much. Esther, you're okay. I'll get your bust in a second, okay? I just want to make sure she wasn't under the bed because then I don't have to stop. Um, I'm just going to try to so this is the daisy chain in the natural aura colorway. And I just love it because there are the daisies, which right there. And there's some lace and just beautiful trims. And I think it's super fun. I'm so sorry for my dog. Um, and then there is this, which is dream. Hi, I know. I know. Come here. I know. Okay. So um, this is also Daisy Chain, but in the Grand Prismatic colorway. And my personal favorite right now is Dreamland in Circle Game. Like what? Esther, stop it, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But I just love it because it has my favorite wildflower yarn in here and some mustards and it's just a lot of fun but I'm gonna stop because Esther's 
I'm going to drive me insane and probably you insane as well. Um, but I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited to cast that on and to show you progress because I just need a fun, quick knit. That's just fun, right? I don't know how much I'm going to wear it, but I want something pretty to look at, even if I just hang it up in my office as a piece of art, right? Like it's just, it's so beautiful and special. So that is on my mind and I have a few sweaters that I'm planning on casting on, but I won't show you until I actually do. And also a few of them are in, shh, Esther. a few of them are in um, <laughs> Advent colorway, so I can't see. 